A Present for the Princess by Jane Lowe Pascal, illustrated by Elizabeth Webb or Marjorie Cooper. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful little princess. She was born in a castle. Her father was a king, her mother was a queen, and she had a big sister who was practicing to be a queen. The little princess was beautiful and blue-eyed and bonny, and everybody loved her. The little princess was very gay. She was always laughing and singing and dancing. Not far from the castle lived a little boy. He couldn't see a thing, for he was blind, but he could feel in his heart the whole wonderful world around him. He loved the birds that sang for him. He loved the bees that buzzed for him. He loved the flowers that made a sweet smell for his pudgy little nose. And once upon a time, the little blind boy heard that the beautiful princess was coming to see him. He was very happy. But, he said, what can I give her for a present? And he thought, and he thought, and he thought. He hurried out into his little garden to see what he could find there. Could he give a cabbage to a princess? The princess might laugh at a cabbage. Could he give an onion to a princess? An onion might make the princess cry. He asked the birds what he could give the princess for a present, but they didn't know. He asked the flowers, but they didn't know. Then he asked the bees, and they knew. The nicest present in the whole wide world, buzzed the bees, is a big, red, rosy strawberry. Is that right? he asked the sun, and the sun just beamed. So the little blind boy set out a strawberry plant in his own little garden. He could feel the moist, warm earth with his fingers. He could feel the little bitty green strawberry where it formed on the plant. He thought it would grow, but he knew he needed help. So he asked the sun to help, and the sun came and made the strawberry red like the sun. He asked the rain to help, and the rain came and made the strawberry juicy like the rain. He asked the scarecrow to help, and the scarecrow flapped his arms and scared away the big black crows, and the strawberry grew, and it grew, and it grew. At last the great day came, the day for the visit of the princess. The little blind boy rushed out to his garden. Tenderly he felt the strawberry. Is it ready? he whispered anxiously. It's ready beamed the sun, touching it with his long golden fingers. It's ready, buzzed the bees, who were very happy to know the secret. It's ready, flapped the scarecrow proudly, for he thought he had the most important job of all. So the little blind boy picked the strawberry and wrapped it gently in a green, green leaf, and he made a deep bow and gave the strawberry to the princess. It was redder than a rose from the castle garden. It was sweeter than the honey of the bees. It was juicier than a big fat raindrop. It was the best strawberry in the whole wide wonderful world. It was the nicest present the princess ever had. And the princess popped the rosy red strawberry into her rosy red mouth and she gave the little blind boy a kiss. Perhaps that is a blush that makes the little blind boy's cheeks so red. Perhaps it is just a teeny bit of strawberry juice from the lips of the beautiful princess. What do you think? The End